guys, what we have here is a wolf intarsia that I did uh, over the past weekend. I didn't get a whole lot of video of it. Uh, I was trying to, it was a bit of a rush to get it finished. But uh, basically what I have down there now is I have the backing glued to the pattern and I'm ready to take it off now and this, the next stage after this would be varathaning it. If you guys see me do uh, many, few intarsias in my videos, same process to lay out the pattern, take out the wood, uh, then I get to cut it on scroll saw and then I, a lot of it is sanding and texturing it to get it where you want, where you want to look like. You can see on this guy here that there's a lot of texturing on the ears and on the uh, ruffled fur we'll say to make it look somewhat realistic. This is for another friend of mine and uh, so right now we just take the saw and glued overnight, glued the backing on there now so I just take this, take all the clamps off. So, and there we have the finished product. This is the backing on the back. I paint all my backings black so that they, uh, just for, uh, for black goes with anything, so that's the way, way I do it. And now the next stage of this is to varathane it, polyurethane, sorry, to, uh, and finish it off. Get a hanger to put on it for the back and uh, it's ready to go. So I've done several of these wolves now. I got a few more in the in the queue to do, and uh, I'll get them done over the next weeks and months. Uh, like I said, intarsia is something that I do during the winter. Uh, I like to do it, and it's pretty relaxing, gotta say. Anyway, stay tuned for more videos, guys. Mm -hmm.